So when you have it written this way, there's kind of two ways you can do it. Uh, I would say if you want to do it the most brainless way, which is probably what you'd want to do on the exam, you take the exponents. Yeah, what do these represent? Electrons. Electrons. So if you know the total number of electrons, you'll know what atom it is. So the brainless way is to go 2 plus 2 plus 6, <coughs> 10, uh, another 2 is 12, whatever, all the way on up, and then you find that number on the periodic table. Wow. Yeah. When we write it this way, then it is meaningless whether we write it as an exception or we can write it not in order. See how I didn't write stuff in order? I put the threes before the fours, usually they're mixed in. So in this case, yeah, it's, we do whatever the heck we want to. Now, if you wanted to put more thought, you'd like rearrange it. <laughs> you know, you'd figure out where the exception is and figure out why that happened, but you're going to get the same answer anyways. So th there's really no reason to do that. Okay? And there are multiple yeah. like, answers, though. Like, I know there's like one main like, element, but you also like, have like ions, right? Yeah, I guess if you had ions and, and they didn't make any chemical sense, you could have near infinite uh, amount of ions. But uh, you're usually assuming the neutral molecule, but I would have accepted an ion if it was correct. Okay. Yeah.